I think it was Gordon Brown, actually, who was the Chancellor who reduced the rate of capital gains tax. But we're not talking about Gordon Brown, we're talking income. about you. Well, no, I'm, I believe, actually, perhaps you, you were in the Treasury at the time when that tax system was instituted. Um, so to, I, to be fair, I, I that mean, was I, 13 you, you, years ago. Now, did our pathetic Prime Minister Rishi Sunak reach for the there's no money left note that was written by Liam Byrne all them years ago in a desperate attempt not to look out of his death at this week's liaison committee meeting? Did he break the Islington North emergency button when uh, the Labour MP for Birmingham Hodge Hill brought up the rise of poverty and food banks? Well, you'll just have to wait and see, won't you? Afternoon, uh, Prime Minister. I just want to follow up some of those questions. So, this Christmas we'll see sales of luxury cars and private jets and super yachts hit an all time high. Yet, food banks in my constituency are now running out of food. We've got homelessness at record levels, and last year, four million people experienced destitution. Just tell us do you ever lie awake at night worrying about the level of economic inequality in our country? Uh, no, I want to make sure that we can reduce economic inequality and spread opportunity, and I'm pleased that we are making progress on that. So here are the facts. Income inequality is lower today than it was in 2010. The number of people living in absolute poverty is lower, 1.7 million fewer people. <coughs> Since November, our Prime Minister has been cherry-picking this statistic for a while now. Although technically correct with the latest DWP figures of absolute poverty after housing costs, but other measures show those in relative poverty after housing costs is up by 900,000 in the same period. And full fact have written about this, and I'll leave a link in the description box below. And if I haven't, say in the comments section below, Oi, bell tap, where's that fact check thing? Anyway. Back to our lying prime miniature. And the number of people in low paid work is at the lowest on record. But you also so know we that wealth inequality making, we is are, up. Okay. There are now 300,000 more children living in poverty. And if you take a step back, the top 1% in our country have multiplied their wealth by 31 times more than the wealth of everybody else. That doesn't sound like an economy that's working for everybody. I, again, as I just said, there are <coughs> 1.7 million fewer people living in absolute poverty today than there were in 2010. That includes hundreds of thousands of children. And when it comes to the progressivity of our tax system, again, it's more progressive today than it was in 2010, where the top 5% of taxpayers pay around half of uh, all income tax from memory. So the tax system has become more progressive, so the most wealthy uh, are bearing uh, a bigger burden. Uh, and we are reducing inequality, reducing poverty because of the actions of this So government. why do we have the worst inequality of any major European economy? Uh, all I can tell you is I don't have the international comparisons, but I can tell you from the level that we inherited from the last Labour government, we have reduced income inequality, and that's a record that I'm proud of. But those, are what, those, are, those are the facts. But wealth inequality and has gone up, and there are 300,000 more children living in poverty after housing costs than there were a few years ago. I think we, we just have different numbers because on my numbers, there are 1.7 million fewer well, I've got people the living ONS numbers. in absolute poverty, as, as do I, including hundreds of thousands fewer children. And when it comes to children, no one wants any child to grow up in poverty, of course. And the best way to ensure that that doesn't happen is to ensure that that child is growing up in a home where their parents are working. Because a child growing up in a workless household is five times more likely to be living in poverty than one that isn't. And that's why all our reforms to welfare, to support people into work, improvements to the national living wage, will do an enormous amount to continue making sure that more children are lifted out of poverty. Uh, as well as our recent investment in the local housing allowance, of course, which is considerable support for those families uh, with housing costs. But when we ask the Around, around about uh, <coughs> £800 for those uh, most vulnerable families were benefiting from the uplift that the Chancellor recently announced. So when we ask the public about the best way to tackle inequality, the answer, top of the list, is the tax system that you just mentioned. You, you would agree that a tax system ought to be fair? Uh, I, I, I do. We, and I, as I've said, we have a more progressive tax system today uh, than the one we inherited in 2010, and where believe, those with the broader in, shoulders are, are paying more than they did then. You, you, you believe in the principle that those with the broader shoulders should pay more? Uh, of, of course I do. We, I believe in a progressive tax system and that's what we've delivered. So at a time when one in five people are now set to pay 40% tax, 
is it not wrong that those who take their income in the form of investment income pay a rate of tax that is about half that? Uh, no, well, actually, the rate of capital gains tax on uh, second properties, for example, is, is higher than it is normally. And with investment taxes, you're also balancing the benefit to the economy uh, of investment that creates jobs for people. Now, I would never normally comment on tax policy beyond those broad principles. Um, those are obviously for fiscal events. Uh, but as I said broadly, the investment taxes in this country are competitive internationally and we have a more progressive tax system than we do to do today than we did in 2010. But investment income has now doubled over the course of this century to about £80 billion. If you are a rich individual, maybe you're on a couple of million a year, if, when you file your tax return you will be paying a tax rate of about 21-22%. That is much lower than one in five taxpayers today. Uh, I, Surely that is morally wrong. I, I think it was Gordon Brown actually, who was the Chancellor who reduced the rate of capital gains tax. But we're not talking about Gordon Brown, we're talking about you. Well, no, I'm, I'm just making the point that the person who made the change in our tax system, which has now persisted for a long period of time... But you've been both Chancellor be a lower and Prime rate. Minister. You've had plenty of latitude to restore what you say is fairness to the tax system. I'm curious as to why you haven't done it. Uh, I, 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 I don't think there is, and again, I'm not going to comment on tax policy specifically, that wouldn't be appropriate, but broadly, I'm just making the point, when it comes to capital gains tax, it was Gordon Brown who first reduced the rate of capital gains tax significantly below income tax, and that has persisted as a feature of the tax system from that moment through to today, and actually it has been increased for those on second properties, for but example. We've, we've, we've got wealth inequality that has gone up, not down. We've got the top 1% multiplying their wealth 31 times faster than everybody else. And you appear to be defending a tax system that means that those who take their income in the form of investment pay half the rate of tax of everybody else. That just doesn't seem morally right. I don't. I mean, I believe actually, perhaps you you were in the Treasury at the time when that tax system was instituted. Um, so to, to be I, fair, I, I that mean, was I, thirteen you, years ago, and wealth inequality has multiplied substantially since then. So it then. wasn't morally wrong then, but it's morally wrong now. Well, wealth is inequality is now a much more serious problem than it was. Well, in okay. Well, look, fair oh, enough well. if you've changed your mind on it, but you well, were in the, the treasury at the changed, time, and so yes, it's and, perfectly and, and legitimate and the, to change. As I said, the capital gains tax system, the main change that has been made to it since then is to have a higher rate of capital gains tax for second properties, for example. Um, so actually, it is even more progressive today than it was when you were in the treasury. Uh, partly in charge of the, the tax system with the then Chancellor. When Liam Byrne asked if our teacher short suits lies awake at night worrying about the economic inequality in this country, his first word was, for the first time in the meeting, that he said something that was true. Just tell us, do you ever lie awake at night worrying about the level of economic inequality in our country? Uh, no. Because the rest of his waffle was just waffle, wasn't it? Because, as he's already said, he doesn't have any working class friends, so how the hell would he know how to make their lives better? But when he's been trapped into a corner, he just sounded absolutely pathetic, didn't he? That Gordon Brown line just sounded incredibly immature, didn't it? It's like a spoilt brat who's got caught with his hand in the till, so to speak, after his mate years before had got away with it. And in a way, when taken to task, Drops his mate in it because he thinks it's his get out of jail free card, doesn't it? Also, that line where he thought saying, weren't you a junior minister at the timeline? Sounded so arrogant and stupid. Now, for me, if I was Liam Byrne, I would have replied with, I was actually. How were you chancellor at the time when Dido Hardin was given £37 billion of public money for a track and trace system that didn't work? But I suppose that would have just brought him down to our titchy short pants' level, wouldn't it? But look on the bright side, though. Thank God he's only our prime miniature, eh? It's not as if he could do any damage, could he? But anyway, what do you guys think? Let me know down below and I shall just bid you farewell and take care, my friends. <laughs>